point and click adventures always fascinated me. When I grew up in the 90s, it was the heyday of the classic LucasArts point and click adventures. My first computer was an IBM PC knockoff which had some games installed. One of them was one of these classic adventures, Space Quest 2. There was just one problem for me, I couldn't play it. You see, I'm not from an English speaking country and these games were all in English. I remember taking the dictionary and tried to type in commands to get my guy further in the game, but I never managed. Later on, when I got a Windows PC, I tried other adventure games too, but I never managed to get far. Then, earlier this year, I heard that one of the classic point and click adventures, Day of the Tentacle, was remastered. The language wasn't a problem anymore, so here I go! Day of the Tentacle was a sequel to Maniac Mansion. In Maniac Mansion, you have to stop a crazy scientist, Fred Addison. In Day of the Tentacle, you have to stop one of Dr. Fred's pet tentacles that accidentally mutated after drinking toxic waste and turn intelligent and evil. In order to stop him, Dr. Fred sent three college students, Bernard, Hoagie and Laverne, back in time to prevent the toxic waste from leaking. Unfortunately, something went wrong. Bernard stayed in the present, but Hoagie was sent 200 years in the past and Laverne 200 years in the future. Most of the adventure, you are trying to get everyone in the present again. After that, you will try to stop the evil tentacle. You do this by going around, pointing and clicking, finding objects, solving puzzles. Because I played the game on the Vita, I could navigate with a touchscreen, which was very pleasant. The presentation of Dave the Tentacle can be described with one word, cartoony. The graphics of the original were more pixelated, and the layout was different too, with the bottom part of the screen dedicated to commands like look and use. The remaster version is full screen and looks more like a 90s cartoon. I really like this design, it takes the original version to a new level. If you want to see the old version, it is also included in the remastered version. With the select button you can switch between both graphic styles. I greatly prefer the remastered version though. The sound is also very cartoony, with the sound effects and the voice acting being extremely 90s. It is great in its use of very clear sound effects in combination with some classical themes. It fits the game. When I played Day of the Tentacle, I immediately had that throwback to the 90s, the cartoons I watched as a kid and the games I tried to play. I really enjoyed the story out of this point of view. I think that I'm actually in a bit of a special position here, because I did live through the 90s as a kid, but I could never play this game. So I was both nostalgic and it was a new experience for me. I can imagine that when you didn't grow up in the 90s, a lot of charm of this game would be lost. On the other hand, if you already played this game and know the story, it isn't so interesting anymore, and pretty short. One thing I want to add is that this game is full of cultural references. Not just 90s references, but also some really specific American references. Like George Washington's wooden teeth, or the fact that John Hancock was mostly ignored. If you aren't American or interested in history, these jokes will likely go over your head. This is a pity. Also because some of this knowledge is needed when you want to solve the puzzles. In conclusion, this is a very funny game, that didn't age very well. But if you can overcome this fact, it's worth a try. And if the puzzles are too hard, it's even fun with a walkthrough in hand. And this concludes my fifth review, Day of the Tentacle. It was a fun experience. I will put the intro online as well, so you can get a taste of the cartoony style. See if you like it or not. I really enjoyed making this review, because it captured the essence why I wanted to start going YouTube. There are very few reviews in English from a non-American perspective. Well, let me know if you agree, and like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Until next time!